I was born in uh, Hobart, uh, the small island of Tasmania, which everyone knows. Um, grew up there my whole life. I've got two sisters, both older. Uh, enjoyed bashing me up when I was a when I was a kid, um, and my mother and dad, mum and dad, and um, a couple of dogs. My whole family's grown up in Tasmania. My my father actually moved to Melbourne for a small period of time to pursue an AFL career. He came over in. Uh, the mid 80s, early 80s, uh, had a crack at playing for Hawthorne. He was there for uh, two or three years and then um, my mother fell pregnant and uh, they moved back home again to, to have my sister, who's Rebecca, first child. So uh, he loved uh, Melbourne. He played with some great players. He was at Hawthorne in a, in a really good era, I suppose, with Matthews and Brereton and all those kind of great players. So he enjoyed it and he, uh, he actually debuted with Gary Ablett, so that's his claim to fame. I played uh, AFL most of my life and then I played cricket a little bit. I was just playing, having fun with my mates in, in Hobart and just relaxing. Uh, cricket kind of just, just happened, it just seemed to, to all fit at the right time. I was a little bit small, a little bit fat and a little bit too slow for AFL, so uh, the logical choice was cricket I suppose. I was a massive jock at school, my whole, my whole group were jocks, so we used to play any sport. You know, AFL was our big one, but we'd play soccer, footy, we'd run triathlons, we'd do whatever we could just to uh, stay involved in sport. I used to do a bit of skateboarding, so coming back here is a bit of a shock actually, seeing all these kids around, but um, yeah, we, I basically did whatever was, was going on with sport. Um, I love sport and uh, always have. So I wanted to do a trade, I started a trade before I, before I got into cricket and then uh, it was obviously I wanted to play for footy to start with and then that didn't really go to plan to start with and then uh, I started an apprenticeship and did that for two years and then stumbled across cricket so um, when cricket finishes I can see myself getting back into the uh, building industry in some way, shape or form so I enjoyed, I don't know, I'm the kind of person that just enjoys hands on kind of stuff, I like to be out there doing doing stuff instead of sitting at home or sitting in an office on, uh, on the computer I suppose. I'm a big PlayStation guy. I took my PlayStation on tour to South Africa this year and sat in my room for most of the time and played it actually, yeah, but I, I enjoy PlayStation, I don't know, I just enjoy the, you can sit down with one of your mates and have a little contest, you know, that's, that's how I've been brought up, I'm pretty competitive, so uh, whether it's PlayStation or cricket or football or swimming or anything, I'm pretty competitive, so I like to play PlayStation and have a crack. Uh, at the moment I'm playing NBA 2011, uh, I actually play against my cousin religiously, best of seven games most uh, Sunday afternoons. I like it, I'm on Twitter. I recently got rid of my Facebook, I was getting a little bit of uh, grief and getting heckled a bit on that, so I got rid of Facebook, but I like Twitter, I like, I just like the fact that you can jump on Twitter and find out anything that's going on around the world from any person and you uh, you get the news before everyone else. I love fishing, I uh, just purchased the boat with John Holland actually, so we go fishing, that's, that's a great thing to do, as well as walking the dogs and, and getting a release away from the world is to go fishing, you know, spend six, seven hours on a boat with a, a person that you like and uh, catch a few fish, there's nothing better really. I've got uh, three tattoos, I've got one on my wrist, I don't know if you can see it, one on my wrist, this says family in Arabic and the initials of all my family members. I've got one on the inside of my arm um, that's uh, cryptic, it says uh, live strong one way and carpe diem the other, obviously for uh, the, the stuff I went through when I was young, that's that one, and I've got, um, I don't know if you can see that one either, I've got the cross uh, with always remember them written through when uh, my grandmother died and uh, Scott Mace and a couple of close people that died in my, that around me, I got this one for them.